Hello and welcome back to the DJ Sound Show 2016, April, already had Miami, feel good factor in the air, mm. spring's happening, you know, everyone's kind of getting ready for Ibiza and uh, we've got Joe Brunning in today, Hello. you're going to teach us aren't you? Uh, pff, I don't know, get it. a lesson some, in drums, a lesson in drums, have some fun, shake it down, have some, uh, yeah, just throw, throw it down as, as you always should as we always should <laughs> now massive release last year soul matters your album out in tech yep yeah and um quite a, a different record for in tech wasn't it because mm. no, normally they're not really behind that many albums and especially one as kind of uh wide as yours mm -hmm. yeah for sure as uh i was uh taken aback when they said they wanted to sign the the music itself uh obviously it being a journey and being so uh holistic in a sense of not just being techno in one realm it went from ambient to uh, sort of almost trip-hop classical through to house and everything in between so it's a massive body of work and it also fitted together quite nicely didn't it yeah I did, I did my best it was just like me sort of bearing all on a musical dinner plate so <laughs> now you're gonna bear all uh, yeah. we've got a special show today three turntables three plx's mm -hmm. uh new djm 900 nexus 2 mm -hmm. and um you're gonna give us a little lesson in drums aren't you yeah i mean it's gonna be interesting playing some some of my own tracks on a digital platform using the new record box with the new turntables and then playing some older um vinyl um from are we going to hear some crackles? We might hear some crackles, might hear some skips, might hear some dips. <laughs> but that's few, all the fun of vinyl, isn't jolts. it? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's uh, it's all part of the all part of the fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Excellent. So a mixture of vinyl and then record box DJ sort of DVS control. Yeah. Yes, DVS control. Yes. Yeah. So you could. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to work up a big sweat. So I'm ready to. The house. I think you know what you ought to walk around the other side yes. just lay it down let's it's do Friday it. let's turn the week into a weekend yeah let's shake it let's down let's continue baby. on Come all on. those other cliches <laughs> so I'm really excited we got Joe Brunning in the mix here on the DJ Sound Show let's do this ladies and gentlemen you are now witnessing the dopest DJ on the planet
something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something and keep pumping. Got the groove, you ain't that something. Thank <laughs> you. 
treble. Black people turn up the bass. White people turn up the treble. Black people turn up the bass. White people turn up the treble. Black people turn up the bass. White people turn up the treble. Black people turn up the bass. Bass. Bass.
I said it once, I'ma say it a thousand times. My love for you never ending, my lust for you on dying.
Wow, just let that breathe for a second. Joe Brunning in the mix here on the DJ Sound Show. Ooh. Wow. I think you need to come around here. We need <laughs> I know that you're sweating, you're out of breath. You didn't you didn't relent for one second there. Mm. Yes, very hot. Ooh. Excuse me while I have a quick drink. <laughs> 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 yeah, fun. Oh, what a mix! Yeah, what a mix. So normally I would, normally I would switch off the air conditioning, but I think it's absolutely essential. I don't want you kind of. Yeah, no, know. it was fun. It was fun <laughs> getting in the mix deep inside that. I was just really feeling the music, a lot of uh, pent up energy just to explode. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, at the end of the day, it's just a display of what you can do with a couple of turntables or three turntables and have a bit of fun. All the mistakes thrown in. Sometimes the timing's not bang on, but and just shaking it down it was a living breathing mix wasn't it you yeah know, because you know there are no controllers there there's no looping yeah and i've lost there's the no so. bpm readouts yeah. there's no cues hot cues you know nothing prepared in advance mm. apart from maybe the tracks that you might want to play yeah i mixed it about yeah I, I, a and that's it that's the surprise of the mix is even when you think you're going to play a certain record I did actually swap round kind of I'd planned the first couple of course just yeah. to get my flow but um, as I say I just felt like a, it's like a supernova just waiting to explode <laughs> I just wanted to get on there and release that tension so I really appreciate you uh, having me hey and, no uh, no no the pleasure's all us it was a lot of fun so I mean you know let, let's kind of like wind the clock back a little bit you mm -hmm. know because you, you're actually a DMC winner aren't you yes for a long many moons ago 2001 and it's actually uh come correct here so it wasn't the adult dmcs they yep. actually dmc did a young uk dmc they started it in 2001 and i was the very first person to win that going up and down the country uh going up a lot of different djs it was 800 yep. in total uh got into it uh and then yeah the final sort of come to a precipice Excellent. with uh mr carl cox as one of the judges i think dj craze was there a few others and nice yeah i sort of popped were you still loving the repetitive beats back then yeah there was know? no hip-hop Everyone oh, else, right. there's, a, there's a guy who comes second who comes second to me who's doing all hip hop with a crazy yeah. scratching, and I, I think I remember at the time I was only I was only 16, I was very young. Um, I, I was into techno, but the crowd obviously they're playing to it is under 18. So I think at the time I was throwing in like had Faithless or something playing, right. but it was but it was going backwards, and then I had the deck upside yeah. down. I was doing all sorts of bizarre stuff. There's a video of it floating around. You can actually see. Uh, Coxie, uh, when when I was playing, he's leaning over. The, I was leaning up at him doing that, and he was leaning over the palladium going, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was bananas back in the day, so many moons ago. So, I mean, it's a bit of a sort of, not a prickly subject, but, you know, the, the techno world is kind of split, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. there's all this heritage, you know, Derek May, Jeff Mills, the man. throwing it down, yeah. vinyl, yeah. you know, Ben Sims, just, you know, relentless. But then there's also, in terms of DJing, a highly technical side, mm -hmm. you know, Richie yeah. and kind of that whole controller and laptop side. You know, do you feel any pressure within this sort of genre to go a particular way? Uh, in all honesty, I was uh, one of these guys um, from, even though I'm still relatively young in the scene and my age is well compared to a few of the guys who've been doing it a lot longer than me. I was always of the strict turntablism, right. uh, beat matching, um, no syncs, and all these things. And uh, recently, obviously, I've been using some of this equipment and getting in with Record Box and how to play on some of the controllers. And to be honest with you, it's changed my mind. And I, I heard a really good analogy. It's like um, you can have someone, an automatic car or manual yeah. car, no matter what, you still have to drive the car, even if it is automatic. Yeah. And it's getting there. And at the end of the day, when you're playing out, the main thing is the music. And it's like when you see when you see Carl play now um, using his equipment, obviously yep. sometimes it's synced, he can come out of that and he still does his tricks, but unless you've got that dexterity and flow, yeah. it doesn't matter what you use, you're not going yeah. to be able to so throw I'm, it down. I'm it's fascinated how that's going to translate, you know, coming from a foundation of this, yep. you know, and when we were talking about coming on the show, mm -hmm. you know, there was a, a decision as to whether this was going to be, you know, straight up CDJ mix yeah. 
and everything that goes with that yeah. or whether we were going to do it with vinyl and even up until yesterday we were deciding whether it should be like two yeah. or three decks but huh? you know i'm so glad that yeah, no. you know we decided to go with vinyl we decided to have the three decks yeah. just to give you all those options yeah it's a lot of fun and i like i have to say i revel in the pressure i love like uh, my wife was says to me she said i don't know obviously i'm not a big dj but when i do play out like yeah. she says i don't know how you get up there and just go ballistic and i said i actually revel in that pressure and i like that with the turntables yeah. as well still it's nice to be kept on your toes yeah hanging uh, by a th hanging literally by a thread yeah because it even might be a little diamond thread i've but. spent a week cleaning those records making sure they didn't jump and actually i don't think one of them jumped no but it could have done and or it could have slipped when there was a few times but i had three times and that's the, that's, the, that's the that's the that's the that's the element of it and it's so funky as well like yeah once you get that groove going you just want to shake your ass <laughs> you do it's, it's part of it isn't it if you if you don't feel it at the, yeah. the end of the day i think you can be the most technical dj in the world but if you're not into the music all those skills don't mean mean a thing to me honestly yeah. like, because the music is number one as much as we're showboating here having a little bit of fun today uh without that passion behind you know my love of tribal techno is very yeah. primitive and if that wasn't there i would no way translate them skills in an energetic yeah. way it wouldn't happen so and you played a couple of your own tracks from yes. like a box yes i did you? yes i played so, uh new where, where, are they forthcoming uh one of them has just come out on uh, orange records uh, nice. out of holland which is steve boulder's label good man thank you for the support uh, that was electric boogaloo i think i looped that a little bit too much so uh you want to go and check it out on beatport i was uh, having a lot of fun with three decks nice. you might not have heard that much <laughs> of the track uh what else did i play um and not something else i've just signed to bullet dodge records called ain't that something that was the very first record on Excellent. the uh, left hand side and i played a couple of other bits of bobs some loops and some funky stuff but as i say i plan to play way more and not yeah. play that and it would just in the moment That's just how it happens, it's just isn't how it? it's like a you know pull a rabbit out of the hat and another rabbit comes out you weren't expecting so who knows nice <laughs> well thank you so much for coming on the show it's been a real pleasure thank you for having I me dan feel like i've been schooled no educated. not at all it's just so, a lot of fun thanks dan appreciate it mate excellent Always. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can check out this show audio only on our Mixcloud page on Pioneer DJ Radio. That's pioneerdjradio.com forward slash, sorry, mixcloud.com forward slash Pioneer DJ Radio. Locked into a bit of an autopilot there. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much to my guest, Joe Brunning. See you next time. Peace. Bye.